All right, first off, I want to say Kal Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the brothers and the highways and byways doing this work in all sincerity and in all honesty. The sisters, the believers, the helps. Shalom. Now, this is your brother Yahweh Halal once again. Just want to do a lesson on. Um, as you see, I'm just on YouTube and I just literally type in RFID chip turning on card. That's literally what I type in. So this is not something when me, 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 um, when me I make up or something when me dig far, far or I try go out of the way to get for, for sure nothing special. This is literally something you can even do. This is something you can look into. This is something where you can research on your own and it's something special me I do. This is, it's out there for everybody to see. It's literally out there in your face. You understand me? And as simple and as stupid as you want to call the research I, I'm doing right now, it's that simple and easy you can do it yourself. Right? Or even go more in-depth or technical more than I am right now. It's that e It's that simple. We can't make it even simpler than how it is. Right? Um... Bear in mind the first video I clicked this ten years ago. When I check it, let me see if we can. Alright, so when we click here, it scroll on. It says published on the ninth, published on nine August two thousand seventeen. So this video was made on the 9th of August two thousand and seventeen. But just want to make that out there and clear. We're in the year of two thousand eighteen, and this video with this man putting out his version of this technology back in 2007 right roughly 11 years ago coming August 9 continue about is called radio frequency identification this is a standard technology so this man I show you the radio I radio frequency identification aka the RFID right so I'm gonna go in 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 depth with the, with this um with this type of technology and make you see how it, how it work. That's been in use for several years now in corporate or office kind of environments, and what we're doing is we're applying it to an automotive environment. Uh, traditionally, it's used as an unlocking device, so you can access a door or, or whatnot in an office. We're using it for that purpose as an unlocking device, but we're also using it to start the vehicle. So by doing this, what we can do is we start the vehicle, it unlocks the door so I can enter the vehicle. I can at that point close the door, put it in here, and drive away. I am fully keyless at this point. I can drive anywhere. What happens then is I can pull into my parking spot, put it in the park, hit the tilt switch, which is inside the car, the engine stops running, then I'm allowed 30 seconds to exit the vehicle and lock the doors again. That's the way it stays all night long. A side effect of this technology is that the RFID chips have become very small. They've also been put in packages that allow certain other types of uh, cards, if you will. Right now, I have an RFID chip mounted, or <laughs> surgically implanted in my left hand. It allows me... All right, so the scripture saying in the right hand or in your forehead, and my next future will say oh, in their hands. So it doesn't matter where you want to put the chip, if you want to put it in your shoulder, if you want to put it in your right hand, your left breast, in your head, or your big toe, you still take the chip. There's no exemption of you taking the chip. So I'm sure you say I'm surgically implanted and look what I'm going to do. And this is 10 years ago. These men, 
these are men in them garage a work on this type of technology on fit them equipment such as in car people work on it with them house and all that but I'm show you how versatile this thing is it's not only for buying and selling and the basic transaction or taking the bus and them thing there I'm show you other things where the thing that it's capable of where we are offering immobilizer devices and our remote start devices that are mostly based on the card key. I, the implanted chips are a little out of the ordinary, so there probably aren't going to be too many people that want to do that. But we wanted to show off this technology. Very cool. And you know And this is 10 years ago, over 10 years ago now. I'm saying I just want to show off the technology, but in a them time there, people might not want to take it, so, you know, and that's something I going to say common, which is true, it was not common then, it is getting or becoming more popular or common now, 10 years after, and these are, this was the technology that I push back then, but click on the next one, that's the two first one, just so you know, you can watch the rest if you want. Type in the same hey guys, so I will be making a better video later when I have time. I'm currently in finals. But this is one year ago. That video was made a year ago in 2017. Cool? But I started a discussion um, about our Indian cars. And so this is my car. And what I have, I have an XEM um, feeder. I think that's what it's called. Um, so, the door's open. The locked door. So, the door's locked right now. All I have to do is present my tag. Car unlocks. So, maybe. So 10 years after this man doing video, you see another person, I do a video say, yo, I have the implant, right? He have an implant. And I'm going to show you how him use him implant, and look how him explain it a little more. You can see the reader right here, and it goes down to the dashboard, behind the dashboard. So then, how do I turn on my car? So... I will, I'm in the process of replacing my switchboard because I've had this one for about a year now and it's a little worn down and I actually made some improvements to it so I added this kind of a, a base to it so it's a little more stable but so this is pretty much what it's going to look like so the first switch turns on my accessories so that's my accessories and this switch right here activates the ignition and once that's ready all I have to do is present my tag in here and my car is on so yeah no no key required at all and as soon as I'm done, I just flip off the switches, my car's off, I get out, I lock the door. And that's how I do it. And look how simple and easy I'm going to show it to be. Look how simple and easy I'm show it to be. Hmm? Like, I show a video. 10 years ago with this type of technology 
not only to show the type of the technology, but for sure said the man already have it implanted and using on his car. And I and ten years after that, you have a youth that showed the same type of technology upon our most recent vehicle, right? And I sure said look at something more him up the upgrade him 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 him, him tweak him work on with other types of technology we put in them car for help enable the system. And then those people like him or them do these type of um techno or put these type of technology in their car. You'll have cars coming out soon with RFID readers to start them. Right? You have guns will have RFID reader to even initiate the um the, the on off safety. You understand me? And I just for buy and sell alone. It will be your main purpose of means of transport, operation, or travel. Well, transport, travel, same thing. Or, 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 or means of carrying out any form of business or work. Doing anything at all. You need that chip. It's going to be fully implemented or monitored. Waiting, the scripture says, oh. And he causeth all. This is Revelation 13, verse 16. And he causeth all. All, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And, it, and let me say earlier, it, it doesn't necessarily mean your right hand or forehead. Right? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. I want to look, it, look up that word mark. You go back to the Greek word, um, karag, um, Paragma, which means a, um, a tattoo or a graven, or a, gra- a graven, right, or marking, right? I want to look up the word karagma, go back to karax, which means a pale or stake. You get me? Or incision by us, or, or to be in, um, inserted by a sharp tool, right? Normally, like them peel away where you see people. Um, sharpen the edge and stick it in the ground for make fence with, right? Or when they do once, when them put up tent, they you see they take that metal or wooden stick and drive it in the ground and wrap the tent wire around it. Yeah, that's it. Right? That's the carax, pillar stick. I want to look up the root for carax. It go back to grapho, which means written information. The chip can hold up to twenty thousand pages. What do you think the, the reader read with the pun? The reader read the information, say the owner, and there is a specific key code. We we'll turn on those vehicles. We we'll close the circuit and make it I make the circuit for the ignition go so it can go turn on. But without fill them specific key code, they can't turn on the vehicle. So it's more narrow down. A man not for lend him key for lend out him carry. He can't use him care if he don't have um the RFID. That's how simple. Then provide it for be more security. You can't unlock the vehicle or so without it. Right? Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and 6. Kaistai stigma. When I look up the word stigma, it means to be um, inserted. It means... Um, to be pale or inserted with a sh- um with a sharp tool, right? So all of this go back to the whole mark of the beast, right? Which is the RFID microchip. I'm let me just illustrate in another video. It have multiple re- um ways to be used. Not only for those going on store and buy food. If you take the bus, because Jamaica have a thing called the smarter card, right? And they want to fully implement that if you don't have a smarter card, they want to charge you differently or you can't take the public transport, which is JUTC. And like I said, soon and very soon, they're going to give the option of cars having this type of technology without you have to hacking or anything. Companies will start um, doing it and phasing out the whole key thing. So without it, you can't register to your car. It's all a part of the internet of things. Everything With everything being connected. So once again, 
This one is Kal Halal Yehovah Bahashem Yehovah Shai Bahashem Raka Kodash Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone Shalom to the brothers and the highways and byways doing this work in all sincerity And in all honesty The sisters, the believers, the helps Shalom